if you use WinCollect and you are interested in having a Pulse dashboard that will indicate, you know, what versions uh, of uh, WinCollect uh, machines do you have and how many of them, uh, what the host operating system is, which of them has stopped sending the heartbeat, so they are called silent, going silent or missing, and which of them that were missing has actually been back seen in action, then this video is for you. This work is something created by our friend Christian Rubalcaba, who has a lot of experience uh, with curator systems uh, through his career. And what is interesting in here, is, and I'll give you the links to all these and how you can actually uh, get this done. But let's actually read his posting, which is actually very, very hot from the presses. Uh, here is a sample log that he shows of a wing type of wing collect, and then he extracted additional properties from that log that are not normally monitored. Uh, as you can see, you know what the you, you can actually see where he gets the Windows version, uh, and then he uses uh, two reference sets in which he, by virtue of the rules that we will show down here, puts machines in uh, one reference set and actually takes them from another. We can actually see that, the details of the actual uh, rules and the time frame that he uses, 250 seconds. You do want to change this, uh, you can actually edit the rule and change that. And you don't have to edit the rule, I'll show you how you can actually import all these uh, from the material that uh, Chris uh, produce. Right? He exported all these rules of these uh, additional custom properties and the reference set so you can add them should you want to have that dashboard. And the dashboard should be actually kind of closer to a view like this. Right? I have very few machines in my demo system but this actually represents more of the view that you get in a normal system. Now uh, in the video description of these and all my videos, there is a link to a public box folder in which you will find a folder for Chris. In it, what you'll see are these files. Here is the actual link to this uh, uh, blog that he posted today. This is the uh, JSON that you import to get the Pulse dashboard. And these are the three exports that he did on the custom properties, the reference sets, and the rule. How you add them is actually very simple. Well, the Pulse dashboard, as you know, you just go here and click New Dashboard, point to that file, and there you are. In order to add the custom properties and the rest of the material, you go into the Admin tab, Extension Management, and you will point here to those files. Notice that this stuff is not digitally signed because it is not supported by IBM. So don't call support uh, when you run into trouble with this. But I think that this, and uh, the other thing that I can show you actually, the custom properties, when you install that by going into Sections Management and adding this zip file, these are the log source types, and, and because I had it already, is actually skipped in my installation, and the cop properties that he actually added. If you then add on top of these the ones for the reference sets, this is the view that you should get, and I believe that you get this in here, when replaced, because when Christian, and this is my assumption, I haven't spoken with him about it, but I think that when he did the export, uh, he also included this, and but that's not a problem because that's a the custom management tool is designed to work on that and, and have those uh, replaced, right? And when you import the last component, which are the rules, you'll see more of that uh, replacement actually. Uh, because this is a print screen, I cannot scroll down, but you'll see the rules that were actually added. And I believe that is because all these things uh, are contained in the previous export. But I think that what is interesting in here is to, it's, it's a nice exercise, not only for monitoring wing collect machines, but also to see the way that he actually play with getting 
uh, when something is detected by a rule that the, uh, that uh, a new message is dis is dispatched, and it uses that to add or remove stuff from the actual reference set. Nice addition if you use WinCollect to your curator system. Thank you, Chris, for producing this.